drawing and stowing of thrust reverser translating sleeves. Before the manual deployment of the translating sleeves, some precautions have to be taken in the cockpit. On the engine start panel, check that the master lever is at off position and install a warning notice. On the maintenance panel, make sure that the engine FADEC ground power switch is off and install a warning notice. Gain access to the hydraulic control unit. Move the lever to the off position to deactivate the thrust reverser system and install the safety pin. Gain access to the manually bypassable non-return valve by removing the corresponding pylon access panel. Now move the non-return valve lever to the bypass position. After that, on both lower actuators, move the lock lever to the unlocked position. This releases the actuator and permits manual deployment. Before operating, check that the flexible shaft is correctly engaged inside the manual drive. Then, insert a speed wrench into the manual drive shaft and deploy the translating sleeves. When looking forward, you can see the blocker doors moving. With the translating sleeves deployed, the cascades are accessible. To stow the translating sleeves, reverse the procedure. When the translating sleeves reach the fully stowed position, the lock lever on the lower actuator automatically engages. Then, return the manually bypassable non-return valve lever to the normal position and reactivate the thrust reverser system through the hydraulic control unit lever. Finally, in the cockpit, remove the warning notices.